been like two months. Went back to Ulta tonight. And this is everything that I found. You can't really see it, but I will clean it and sanitize it. And I will show you guys what I got from Ulta Dumpster. Okay, so I am back with all the products that I dumpster from Ulta. Um, it has been a day later and I just got done cleaning all of these products right here. I think it took about like, I don't know, two hours or so, two and a half. But yeah, let's just jump right into what I got. First off, let's go with this one right here. It is the Revolution Makeup Vivid Baked Highlighter. And as you can see, there's only like half of it left. But again, I think it was a pretty good find when I when I found all of these. They were in the return bag, and it recently it recently rained last night before we went to dumpster diving, so it was all soaked, and there was like this nasty I don't know I want to say juice all over it but I was able to clean everything out and this is the finished product I think it's really pretty again the revolution makeup vivid baked highlighter this is radiant lights the next one I got also from revolution makeup this is another vivid baked highlighter and this one is in the color rose gold lights and I thought this one was super pretty it's like a dark pink slash purple the flash makes it look more pink but when there's no flash it's kind of like a purpley color you can see that like that right here that's the original pattern when I cleaned it and tried to put everything back together I did just um what do you call it? I just put the shadows back together around it to keep like that little remaining of the original packaging there. But yeah, this one was, it's basically new. They just again crushed it up and I cleaned it and pressed everything back together. If you're wondering, yes, I cleaned all of these products with alcohol. So yeah. And then there's another one, another Revolution Makeup. This is the Strobe Highlighter. The back came off, but yeah. This one is also really pretty. It's the white shade. And then I did try my best to press everything back together also. Again, this is my second time going to um, the Alta dumpster and actually found something. I've I've been I went there frequently, but um, I had no luck in finding anything until last night when I went and actually and I found these products. The other product is the Laura Geller Beauty Ingenuity. This is a blush and brightening pink buttercream. This is a tester. This one was actually really, really clean. It was like, it was at the bottom of the dumpster, but there was nothing, like no gunk on it at all. So I just um, put some rubbing alcohol on a Q-tip and I cleaned it inside right here. And then I spray over that top layer. This is a really pink and shimmery blush. Moving along, we have another Revolution Makeup. This is a strobe highlighter in the color Gold Addict. This was also one of my favorites. Super pretty. It is still drying, so it's a little wet. You can see all the gold, all the glitter. Look how pretty that is. I thought this was a really, really great find. Next, we have another Laura Geller. This is Double Take Baked Versatile Powder Foundation in Sand. 
that's how it looks like. And then there's another um, lift to it. And then there's a mirror. There's a mirror right there. And then there's supposed to be like a, what is it, a puff down here to apply the foundation. Next up, we have the Ulta Bronzer. As you can see, the seal is still on here. Uh, when I found it, it was also in the return bag. There was really nothing wrong with it. It's just the back got a little of the is it the pink juices on there. As you can see, this is a glow bronzer. And I, I'm not sure if I'm going to open it up and press it back together. But um, yeah, we'll see what happens with this. But yeah, this is the Ulta Bronzer brand. And then next up, I got a Smashbox. I think eyeliner and jet set waterproof eyeliner this is a tester and then how I cleaned it was I broke it up with a knife and then I sprayed like two or three spritz of rolling alcohol in it and then I pressed it back together the best I can with some q-tips and then next Thing I got was this Naked Urban Decay blush. I think it's a it's a bronzer, highlighter, and blush. So initially there's supposed to be three in here, but I only but there were only two left when I got it. And this one was really dirty, like it was super dirty. But I was able to clean it up. As you can see, there's a mirror right there. So we have the full bronzer here, and then half of the blush, and this is a tester. Lastly, I found the It Cosmetics, what is it, is it um, foundation in the color light? This one was also one of the dirty or super dirty ones, but I managed to clean it all up and there's a mirror with it. And then you open it up and the product is in here. When I got it, it was full. The only thing that was wrong with it was they dug, like, I don't know, they dug something into it. So I just like, I sprayed it with rubbing alcohol and I pressed it back together with some Q-tip. So I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to exactly use all of the products that I found here. Um, I do have a site. I think it's only an app, but it's called Poshmark. And I do sell all the makeup that I find in these dumpsters on there. So if you're interested in any of these, please head on over to my Poshmark. I will have a link to it down below. And you guys can purchase these items over there if you would like to. But again, this is everything that I found.